everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for hanging around yes i've been poorly but i'm totally okay now this is today's video this is a farmhouse inspired bathroom decor piece which is sitting up here beautifully on my imaginary shelf but there will be a shelf here the bathroom is as it was when we bought it I definitely, um, yeah, can't wait to get the new tiles up. But at the moment, the whole room is white and I'm going with a farmhouse theme in here. So this is the sign I've made. So if you'd like to hang around and see how easy this was, a really simple one, guys, hang around and let's get into the video. So everything I used for this is right here. It really is one of the easiest DIYs, guys. So I've used some um, old off-cut of wood you would have seen in previous videos. I use a lot of wood for things. This is just an off-cut I found upstairs. Pretty perfect for the size I need. I've got the wooden letters that I used in the video a while back um, from the works. They're not very farmhousey, but they will do the job. And I've got some white acrylic paint for the letters. I've got my stain for the wood, my varnish for the stain, and I've got my twine for the edges. Of course, hot glue gun is a must and an old rag to put your stain on with. So the first thing you need to do for this is to stain your wood. Now, I am going a bit farmhousey, so you can either go white, black or natural wood. I am going with the same stain that I've used for pretty much all of my wood DIYs because I've still got loads left and I'm not buying new. So this is the walnut and it's mixed with some dark oak because if any of you have been around for a while, you would have seen me do my kitchen table and it was very orange. The dark oak was so orange, I mixed it in with the walnut and now this is just a combination of the both. So I can't even you know, tell you what exact color it is, but it's a mixture of the oak and walnut. So I'm going to put probably two or three coats onto my piece of wood. I want it quite dark. I'm going to let it dry in between each coat. And yeah, use a rag, put it on and buff it in and wipe it off and repeat. So while the wood, the first coat of the varnish on the wood is drying, I'm gonna put all my letters out and I'm gonna give them a coat of white acrylic paint. So I've got Relax and Unwind here and I will just lay them out and get painting. One letter in, I don't have the patience for fiddly. I'm terrible. I need to learn some patience, but easier for me, pick it up in my hand and give it a really good coat of that paint. Easier for me to wash my hands after than it is for me to just faff around with it, messing around and moving around on the tin foil. But whatever works for your learning style, <laughs> you do whatever's best for you. I'm painting these with the white acrylic you can see I like to alternate between getting my hand filthy dirty and or holding it in my fingers and painting the edges because that's kind of just how I do things and I don't know how to be neat but anyway that is coming to the end of that I've made sure that I've coated every little nook and cranny all the edges are all done I might have to go in with a second coat but at the moment I'm cool, I'm, I'm not thinking I'm gonna have to do that, but we'll see what it looks like at the end. And because that has taken forever, like a full 20 minutes, it's, um yeah, the first coat of the stain, I think has pretty much dried on the wood. So I'm gonna go in, wash my hands, give them a bit of a scrub, and then come back with a second coat of stain for the wood. <music> Yeah, I think because this is also going on pine and pine is generally quite yellow, 
it's not coming up as dark as I would like. But the third coat, fourth coat should definitely do the trick. I won't film that bit, I'll just crack on, let this dry and then come back to you when it's all ready to assemble. So that is it finished with three coats. I'm quite happy with that color. Before I stick my letters on and decorate, I'm actually gonna give it a coat of varnish just because it is going in the bathroom. So I don't want it to get completely destroyed with the, I guess the condensation. Too quickly, I have a very small bathroom and it does have a large window, but yeah, I just definitely wanna seal it and make sure it's protected. varnish is dry I've just had a play around with the letters I've sort of like rearranged like arranged them straight across or rounded so I kind of like um, the relax coming around in a bit of a semicircle oval with unwind being straight at the bottom so that's what I'm gonna go for I'm gonna glue that down then I'm gonna add some decoration I do think farmhousey needs a bit of green so I didn't obviously say that at the beginning it's just halfway through you know where your brain kind of starts whirring and you think what else it needs something else so yeah I'm actually going to add one of these leaf garlands that you might have seen in my previous farmhouse lantern DIY if you've been with me for a while and these were one pound from the works so these are kind of cool and they're also plastic and papery so ideal for a bathroom and yes we can add those as well so hot glue gun is hot 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 and i'm gonna get sticking they've turned out of course you can place them any way you want you can make you know use rulers use your pencil lines if you need it I probably could have done it here little things for me I just noticed these tiny little bits like the E is quite high but that is quite low you know those kind of things but I won't let it stop me from relaxing and unwinding so now I'm going to add the twine and the leaves and that's it pretty much done pulls it all together and I can't wait till it's finished so my plan for this is to put some twine around the edges. I'm going to do it really rough like you've seen in previous videos. Then I'm probably just going to add one or two rows of this. Um, light amount of hot glue across the back of that just to make sure that nothing moves and then trim this off and do the same on the other side. And that is the twine done. The next step will then be for the greenery. So I don't know um, how much I'm going to put on. This is another play it by ear job. I might just put one line. I might put two. I think one's going to be enough. I think one is definitely going to be enough. And I think it needs some buffing up because it comes quite flat rolled. So I'm probably going to cut it just so that I've got enough for one down the edge. Let's have a go. And I'm going to fold it over. Put, put it across like so. So maybe right on the edge I think would look nice and then fold it over and hot glue that into place okay I just realized I did not press record on that last bit 
Oh, goodness, Claire. Right, so basically the hot glue was proving too difficult to hold this wire down because the wire is quite strong. So what I did was I cut a piece that was long enough to go around and be twisted at the back together. Bit wasteful, but I think you have to weigh it up against the time it's gonna take to hold that down and all of the above. So that's what I've done on this piece. I'm just going to add another piece to this side and do exactly the same. And that is it done, guys. It's my bathroom farmhouse sign that is absolutely i mean i'm in love with it what do you guys think let me know leave a comment down below if anything leave a comment to say hello because you know i love to hear from you all so yeah thanks for watching and i'm really looking forward to the next few diys it's all going to be farmhouse related some for the bathroom some for the living room and yeah i better get cracking and see you in the next one bye